Hello guys, today I'm gonna tell you how to fix heater, furnace or air conditioner which give you a heat like a professional. Let's go! I will begin some with little bit theory. The heater is just uh, the thing which is one of part of this heater. It's uh, starting getting heat and this heat need to be moved somewhere else. All popular heaters in USA just uh, usually uh, contain two parts. Two parts. One part is like a heater exchanger here, heat exchanger, and first thing, it's a air handler. Air handler is like a blower wheel motor, blower wheel and blower wheel motor. Okay. Um, the blower wheel motor usually usually do like uh, air moving through the heat exchanger and just uh, through the evaporator. If we have air conditioner unit like uh, evaporator coil here, it will go, the air will be go through the evaporator and the heat exchanger together in the same time. Actually, this is wrong way. It uh, should be, the air should be running like that. Here, from the furnace, here, this thing is calling like a return. Return. Return and front the return, you usually install the filter, the air filter or electrostatic filter here, which is collecting the dust and, and other things on your air. It's sucking air this way, going through the heater, and then it's going through the ducts and blowing hot, like a warm air. Or these ducts could be uh, running through the through the bottom underneath on the floor or on the on the wall on the wall like a grill grill or, or it's called like a ducts ducts and here they usually install the air grills like that okay the all units usually Furnace is usually working this way, like residential units. Also, commercial, almost the same way. But we have to know how to fix it. How to fix this furnace. Okay, I will try to explain you of what kind of parts the furnace contains. Like I said, the furnace contains two parts. Let me, I will make uh, the air handler smaller part because it's uh, not important right now. It's an air handler. Air handler. This part is like a heat exchanger. From the heat exchanger, usually we have a parts like uh, incoming gas supply, gas supply connected to the gas valve, gas valve. Then this gas valve is splitting to the could be a splitting uh, for one tube 
and big second tube. Let's I will try to draw like this way. Like a big tube and small tube. Right now I will talking about the the furnace which using like a uh, electric ignition model like a spark model it's calling like an ignition model or spark model the sparking model usually uh, located somewhere here somewhere here or somewhere close to blower wheel motor it's usually it's uh, actually doesn't matter where it's located actually and on air handler here's a also located like a control board and here's the coming 120 volts this tube could be called like a pilot pilot and this pilot valve pipe and this is main valve MV or main valve this is ignition model let's imagine it's locating here it's connected to the gas valve and energizing first the pilot valve and the second one is energizing the main gas valve MV and PV pilot valve usually you will see the these signs on the gas valves and usually they have a, also one common contact like a pilot valve contact common contact and main valve contact all of these wires going to the ignition model okay here's a pilot valve this pilot valve it's contain like a pilot tube like a pilot gas injector and here's a have a like a rod which connected to with wire to the to the ignition like a spark model and this spark model like this ignition rod like a sparking rod it's a also playing uh, the role like a flame sensor and here we have yeah nothing nothing more nothing more just the ignition rod and here's a pilot valve it's connected to the to the gas injector here's a flowing gas through this small pipe okay with this this is like a furnace with ignition model um, okay what happening what happening the systems like that it's usually have also like a high limit switch it's a, it's located usually right here high limit switch it's usually connected directly to the like a, a to relay which starting the blower wheel motor this high limit switch because uh, when you turn it on your heater it will start running it will send the 24 volts or to like it's sending 24 volts to ignition model ignition model will send the power to the pilot valve pilot valve will open in this moment the spark will sparking to the plate close to the pilot gas injector it will create the flame here 
the flame here will sense by flame sensor. The flame sensor, the gas ignition model will understand what you have a like a flame. And here, this thing, here's a have like a probably three, four, or six gas injectors which connected directly with um, heat exchanger, like a big coil which is uh, like a getting heat by flaming gas, natural gas or propane gas. Okay, after the ignition model will sense what the flame sensor is okay, this main valve will open, the main valve, the whole pressure of gas will go through the gas injectors and this gas will reach this uh, flame which already energized and it will flame the whole gas right here and it will flame like that flame like that and it's actually if we were talking about um, let me see like an image the small there's a blower wheel, or it's connected here. Um, here's a small thing inside the furnace. It's just a, a view from through here, like that. And heat exchanger, it will imagine like here. And here, it's uh, these gas injectors which blowing here the gas and it's igniting and it's a uh, flaming inside the heat exchanger then these gases like a carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide it could be running outside here they usually connected the 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 pipe which is going outside outside and will not collect here these like a uh, produced gases okay the next thing it's a uh, right now I actually explain you how working the simplest uh, simplest furnace without the inducer motor let's talk about the about the furnace which have inducer motor usually it's the same thing but, but, uh, here's a have a things uh, which I have to explain you. I will try to explain you by step by step diagram. <coughs> 